Hi, kung bago pa lang ka sa akong YouTube channel, ayaw kalimot og subscribe dai dong. Subscribe, i-click ang all para updated mo sa tanan nakong na i-post later on. Salamat! Hi mga ka-virtual loves or mga VV loves na anapod ko karon, uh, I am going to do my second laboratory which entitled Measurement of Level in a Tank Using Capacitive Type Level Pro. The aim of this uh, virtual laboratory is to me measure tank level using capacitance level pro. Its objectives are the following. Review various methods of level measurement. Second is to understand the working of capacitance level transmitter. So now, we are down to a uh, pretest. We have to answer first the pretest. So first question, the maximum energy that can be stored safely in a capacitor is limited by A, the breakdown voltage, B, width of dielectric, C, both breakdown voltage and width of dielectric. Answer for this letter C. The dielectric, the dielectric used in high value capacitors is A, mica, B, ceramic, C, paper. For this B, letter A. A capacitor with the following text on its body 105 Kelvin has a capacitance of A, 1 millifarad, B, 1 picofarad, C, 1 microfarad. Letter A. Okay, letter A. Okay, letter C. Wait, letter C. I, I think letter C. So, when of the following, uh, which of the following rather best describes the time constant in an RC or resistor capacitor circuit? A. Time for the charge stored in the capacitor to drop to 37% of its original value. B. Time for 37% of the initial charge to leave the capacitor. C. Time for the capacitor to completely discharge. Okay, my answer for this is letter, letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Okay. Between the plates of an air capacitor, if a glass slab is inserted without moving the plate, then its capacitance is hardly affected. B. Its capacitance is increased. C. Its capacitance is decreased. Letter B. Okay. Submit. Oh. We got all the correct answers. Since we are done with a uh, pretest, now we are going to uh, do the simulator for the simulation. So for the measurement of level in a tank using capacitive type level proof. So click here for simulator and then you can see Okay, this is now the uh, simulator. Uh, we have the capacitance, uh, the tank And uh, this is not a doha ka ka ng koan column. Sorry, uh, electrode. So, here, um, you have to configure first the system. So, uh, when we configure the specialist ay sa height, so, gagamit tayo ng 1,500. Oh, this is the ano, outer diameter niya for 2.5. And we'll have to select uh, um, the inner radius. Let's use this 1.2. Okay. Awesome. So that's it. And the span value is 1345. So what are the services? Ano yung, ano yung ano ilalagay mo dito? Or ano yung identity ng capacitor mo? Kung kuno na ba? Or... So uh, let's... Ano, See na this is um, skimmed milk powder. Okay. Uh, configure the system. And then, it is just said here for the configurations, uh, naka nakatala lang dito yung mga pinili mo at, or sinelect mo na mga, ano, mga specification niya. So, um, height, 1,500 cm. Outer radius, 2.5 cm. In radius 1.2 expense expand expand, uh, expand value sorry uh, 1345 cm and then the service that in here is skimmed milk powder so do you want to continue well of course yes 
let's continue. So for this one, we have to ano to do first is a uh, what level of kuan? What level yung ano natin yung service natin? So uh, let's say two two seventy. 270 centimeter yung level. So, this is the 270. So, now we are going to um, to what we call this? To enter the output capacitance. So, let's, um, for example, 0 0.1234. So, when you enter that, submit. Oh, I got it correct. I did not expect. Hindi ko pa na, hindi pa ako nag-calculate. So, next na naman, anong level? Uh, start level and then 540 um yung output versus capacitance. Ah, uh, haha. So, 0 0.567 at least 67 70. Okay. Kapag mali yung na ano mo na na lagay mo, you'll have to um to recalculate again stated sa system dito na okay recal kasi mali ka. So here, uh, referring to this formula, nakat nakatala na dito sa gilid guys. So you can check on it. Uh, I'll just uh include the the uh, link of this ano virtual laboratory sa description sa uh, description box later so here this is the kanang formula uh -oh. capacitance in a microfarad uh, radius meron naman tayong ra radius kasi ito mga specified naman to like configured na to natin before before pa tayo nag ano dito sa next na um, for this experiment so the bar we choose first the level, the radius, the outer radius, and also, uh, given na din dito yung permittivity of the space, meron din permittivity of air, then um, dielectric constant of the process, fluid select or the, the selected service, makikita yan dito sa baba. Oh. Oh. Since uh, we choose the skim milk powder, okay, yung dielectric constant niya is 2.3. So, then, um, dielectric, okay, tapos na yan. So, meron tayong height level of a column. Di ba, yung height, yung, yung height ng kanang, of the air level in the column. Then, also, din height of liquid. Oh, alam nga ba yung height na nilagay natin, di ba? And also, the expand, the, the span, the span, or the, um, the span, which is uh, just the tank height, diba? Nag-enter na tayo ng tank height, and also multiply to 0 0.9 minus 5. So, let's calculate this. Uh, what I calculated is 0 0.1551. Okay, I just include above. Okay, I attach ko lang siya. So, submit. Oh, we got it correct. So, now, next. Change in the radius for comparison. Okay, we'll have to change the inner radius stuff for comparison. Okay, and the radius select and the radius 1.2 kanina na 1.6. Okay, let's see. Okay, configure. Yes, diba? we just changed the inner radius. For comparison, so here 540 pa rin tayo, then just have to enter the value 1.6. Same same formula pa rin. What I got is uh, 0 0.255.3. Let's 255.3. So it correct. So next, so the requirement. Na next. Okay, let's change the ano from 540 to 
seven five then boom change let's let's change a bit of this ano formula here to change mo lang yan especially sa height ng air so one three four five minus six seven five and then enter here the one point six per inch Seven five, then two point three, then two seven five. Oh, finally, I got uh, zero point two seven six nine. Okay, let's enter zero point two seven seven six nine. Submit. Correct. So next. So next value na naman. Okay, let's change na naman for 80. Uh, for 810. Let's change the ano lang. Okay. 810 and... Pero same lang yung ano calculations niya, guys. Okay. 2 point, 0 0.2988. Submit. Okay. Then, na open na natin. So, this is the at uh, we. Okay. B before we are going to ano, to let's just say the capacitance graphs. So, uh, go here. A uh, level versus a uh, capacitance graph. So left up. Uh, ah, uh, yung level of the tank then. Uh, how does it affect to its capacitance? So here, as I uh, include, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, is that um, uh, mas kung mas higher yung level ng tank, mas taas yung uh, capacitance niya. So the lower the, the the lower the level of the tank, or when the tank is empty, the lesser its capacitance or the lower its capacitance. So yun makikita niyo dito na. Um, here from 540 na level to 0 0.26. Okay, let's see. From, uh, from 675 like 0 0.26. So, di ba nag increase siya? And then, D to that. So, that's, that's, that is for the level, uh, the relationship between the level the, of the of the tank, the level of the tank. So, how does it affect to the capacitance? So, again, the uh, when the tank is filled, so the higher its capacitance. So when empty naman then, so the lower its capacitance. So let's ano here for the uh, black diagram. So this is uh, what it looks like. So black diagram since we're working this is the capacitance. Yes, guys. Um, if you are a little bit confused, uh, same sa akin kanina, I'm a bit confused about the formula. Kasi uh, what what uh kung, kung ano yung na view nyo kanina is um is a little bit a um medyo confusing na formula but here you can see dito sa as included in the black diagram sensor working makikita nyo yung uh, mas plain na ano na formula <laughs> di, 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 di katulad kanina pero ah uh, um same lang siya yung notations lang yung 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 kaibahan pero uh, it will work the same and um Either you can use those uh, the formula given sa formula bar, de ba nakita niyo naman kanina. And also when you can uh, when you use this, uh, you come up, you still come up to the to the same answer, to the right answer probably. So here, close this one. Okay, let let's discuss this um, current graph. Okay, current lang din. current lang. Din. So what happened here, de ba kay at uh, um, in every level of the tank, so ilan yung current graph na ano, level na ito. So, okay. Same as kanina doon sa ano, sa, cap, uh, sa, sa level of the tank versus the capacitance, um, uh, um, directly proportional or we can say na may uh, linearity, uh, may linear relations siya, the level and also the current. So the level of the tank are here for 540 cm, so which has, meron siyang um, current per milliampere 
and 10.42. The as as the level of the tank increases, di ba? We are uh, increase the level of the tank from 5.42, 675 up until 8.10. So, makikita niyo from yung current is nag increase din siya from 10.42. 12.03 and also to ano to what? wait lang hindi ko maklik pero 13.64 so diba nag increase siya as you increases the ano the level of the tank nag increase din yung current which is a which is a in terms of milliampere so here let's go back to let's go back to ano black diagram oh my god it's not working for it hindi natin masyado nakikita yung black diagram pero um i'll just have to uh include sa uh, this uh, sa, sa iba sa itaas yung black diagram na nakita ko though it's somewhat blurry pero I haven't seen any uh, anything like this now black diagram that is why I just um, screenshot shot to the video that, to the video that I watched a while ago just to uh, find somewhat like this so here this is uh, what it looks like to the black diagram of the sensor working so ito yung capacitance niya and then here ang nandito is yung power supply yung capacitance probe dito uh, the level change, the change developed on plates, which is C is equal to Q over V, and then dito, sh dito siya is dielectric change, ito yung dielectric change. Then, here is overlapping area changes. Then, next one is the change in capacitance. Then, the output in, ito na yun, the output in a uh, microfarad. <laughs> the kana ang output na ano, capacitance. So, here is the function of fluid. Makikita nyo dito, uh, like, may linear na graph dito, di ba? So, here, this is just the le uh, the capacity versus the level of, the level, the level. So, makikita nyo dito, as I've mentioned kanina, na um, as the level of the tank increases, mag-increase mag din yung capacitance. Uh, you can, you can also check, um, you can also try, uh, Try it on your own uh, to change the to change the um, inner radius just to uh, have the comparison or just to just to, to compare kung ano yung uh, na solve ko kanina so na illustrate ko kanina then so um, since maybe uh, that's it that's it for the illustration so we'll move to the post test. Since we are done with the simulator, let us now answer the post test. Question number one. Sensitivity of capacitance level probe can be increased by A. Increasing the probe length, B. Decreasing the size of the gap, C. Either or both of the above. Letter, letter C. Capacitance sensor can be used to measure level of A. Interface between two immiscible liquids. B materials with large particle sizes exceeding one half inch in diameter. Letter C is lardis. I think letter B. Number three. The principle of operation used in capacitive transducers is A. Change of dielectric strength. B. Change of area of plates. C. Change of capacitance with change of distance between plates. Answer for this is I think okay letter A capacitive transducers are normally used for a static measurements B dynamic measurements C both static and dynamic measurements letter letter okay dynamic letter C I B D okay last question the output impedance of a typical capacitance transducer is A. Moderate B. Very low C. Very high Letter C. Very high Okay, let's submit We got all the correct answers
explain various transducer used for non-invasive measurement of level well honestly i am having a hard time answering this kind of problem uh, but i guess the best choice for this transducer for non-invasive is capacitance why for the pros of capacitance it is used for solid state can be non-invasive compact and accurate for its cons naman din, may require calibration can only be used in certain liquids for its application tank level monitoring and chemical food water treatment powder and brewery industries capacitance level sensors operate in the way that processed fluids have dielectric constants significantly add different to air they measure the change in capacitance between two plates produced by changes in level two versions are available one for fluids with high dielectric constant and one with low dielectric constants. A simple capacitor consists of two electrode plates separated by a small thickness of an insulator, such as solid, liquid, gas, or vacuum. This insulator is also called as dielectric. The principle of capacitive level measurement based on a change of capacitance an insulated electrode acts as one plate of capacitor and the tank wall acts as the other plate the capacitance depends on the fluid level an empty tank has a lower capacitance while a filled tank has a higher capacitance Advantage of capacitive transducer First, it requires an external force for operation and hence very useful for small systems. The capacitive transducer is very sensitive. Third, it gives good frequency response because of which it is used for the dynamic study. Fourth, the transducer has high input impedance hence they have a small loading effect. And the last one, it requires small output power for operation. The disadvantages of capacitive transducer. First, the metallic part of the transducers require insulation. Second, the frame of the capacitor requires earthing for reducing the effect of the stray magnetic field. Third, sometimes the transducer shows the nonlinear behaviors because of the edge effect which is controlled by using the guard ring. Fourth, the cable connecting across the transducer causes an error. Well, um, RF source or radio frequency source is used or applied to measure and detect the change in admittance. So the next question is state the factors taken into consideration while selecting measurement technique. So, uh, in terms of selecting measurement level, a uh, level measurement technique. So, first thing I consider is ang yahang ranges. Yang ranges. Second is ang accuracy. Third is ang response niya. Fourth is ang out, ang input, ang output. Second, uh, ang kuana dayon sunod kay ang stability niya, ang reliability, ang operation, and of course, lastly, um, Important po kayo na siya, ang sensitivity niya. Well, I am Marilyn Bautista. Thank you mga baby loves for watching this video. God bless!